here is an explanation for the answer to final exam question number 77 in Electricity Demystified, second edition. Please refer to pages 337 and 338 if you have the printed book. Imagine that you want to build a long wire antenna for shortwave radio reception. The question goes on to describe the situation. It's a long span of wire and you're going to have considerable stress on that wire. Considerable mechanical stress. You want to put a splice in the middle of a 200 foot span of wire between two poles without any intervening supports. <clears throat> what kind of splice will work best in this situation? Assuming, of course, that uh, you, the wire is strong enough to withstand its own weight and the tension on it. The weight of the wire will put considerable mechanical stress on the span. You want to use uh, stranded AWG number 14 wire. That's pretty good size wire. That should, that should hold up under the stress. The answer is D. D a Western Union splice and you're going to want to solder that splice because in part number one it's going to be outside it's going to be exposed to the elements number two it's stranded wire now a Western Union splice is described in the book I'm going to try to make one here with a red piece of wire and a black piece of wire I'm not going to bother to take the insulation off of these and they're solid not stranded but a Western Union splice you place them together like that then you loop them over each other a couple of times so you've got something like that then you wrap in the case the red one around the black one, in this case they're red and black. You wrap the left hand wire around the right hand one tightly in coils. And then you do the same thing with the other one. Now if you do this with a couple of lengths of stranded number 14 wire that's had the insulation stripped off, of course, so that the conductors come into contact, and then you solder it. Well, I can pull these apart because they're thin. But in reality, in the situation, if you solder them to, to affix them in place, you're not going to be able to pull them apart. And in fact, they should withstand a 200-foot span unless you have a hurricane a massive ice storm or some other uncontrollable external natural event. Somebody goes along and fires a bullet that just happens to intersect the, you know, those unforeseen. A meteorite falls from space and hits the wire. But otherwise, a Western Union splice that's soldered is the best kind of splice to use in the situation described in this question number 77.